When developing UI, it's very important to make sure that you're matching with the designs. However, sometimes it's frustrating because you don't necessarily know the links to the design, maybe it's lost in a communication from months ago in Slack, or in the Jira ticket. But wouldn't it be awesome if we could just somehow integrate the design to Storybook? If you're in that situation, all you have to do is go to the official Storybook website and click in the add-ons link, which will bring you to the add-ons gallery. And that essentially gives you a very interesting overview of all kinds of add-ons, both from, from the core maintainers of Storybook, but also from the community to provide basically any extra functionality you're looking for. Because we're looking for designs, we click on here. Over here, we see that there's an add-on called designs which is pretty popular. And in fact, this add-on is widely used for integrating Figma designs. If we click on it, we see the description and there's a docs and demo link. We can check how it works before even installing. We see that it supports just plain images in case your projects don't really use any fancy design tool. It also provides a way to just add links as well as even iframes to allow you to embed entire websites or YouTube videos. However, the thing that actually matters to us, it's Figma designs. And we see that this add-on also supports embedding Figma designs right into Storybook. So let's go ahead and install this to improve our Storybook. In the getting started section, we see the installation steps. So let's do that right away. Go back to VS Code. You might have Storybook running, so let's just kill it and install using the command from the steps. Also, we need to register the add-on in main.js. So we're also going to get this, copy this entry and go to our main TS file and register the new add-on by adding it to the add-ons property. Going back to the steps, it says that once you have registered the add-on, you just need to add it to a story by using a with design decorator. And in this example specifically, it's showing you how to add it to a story. However, we want to add support for every single story. So we don't need to worry about it. So what we can do is we can essentially get this decorator, go into our decorators file and add it as well in the global decorators list. And this will be applied at a project level, providing support for every story. So let's run storybook again and check it out. And on Storybook, we see that now we have a new option in the add-ons panel. If we click on it, it's called design, but there's no design found. That makes total sense because we haven't really connected any design. As you can see in the documentation, all you have to do is to set a parameter with a design key. You define the type that you want. It could be an image, a link, or whatever. In this case, we want a Figma and the URL to the design. If you go to Storybook in the with getting started with meal drop story, you will see that there is a link to the designs. And by the way, props to Maxi Molinars for making these incredible designs. If you're logged into Figma, you're going to see a sidebar with some details, but you could also click on these buttons to go into, for instance, the component library where you can see all kinds of different designs there. And from here, we can actually get the links to use in our stories. And as we're using the badge component, let's select the entire thing, right click on it. And then over copy as we select copy link, going to our story to the badge and back to the code. All we want to do is to add a parameters key containing design of type Figma and the URL that we copied. So when we get to storybook, we see that our design panel now renders the entire design. And that's pretty amazing. We can essentially get some information about it. Uh, we see where it actually is part of, as well as there's a link here that if you click on it, it will open Figma directly on that specific node. And this is great we now are able to essentially embed any design for any story that we want directly in Storybook. And of course you can be more flexible. Uh, in this case, I just like to render the entire um, sticker sheet where you can see all of the variants right away, rather than 
having different things from different stories. And also the fact that we set the parameter in the meta level applies this for every single story, right? As you can see over here. So I could basically compare my dark mode design with the component as well as my light mode design with the component. However, if you want to be very specific, what you can do is in your design, you could select that specific variant and you can copy its link. Then you could do the same for the other variants. And instead of setting them on the meta level, you just set them to the story level. And that's basically it. The simplest way possible to embed a Figma design into your stories. But at the same time, you don't really have access to the spacings, to the colors and other tokens, right? And that would be just awesome to have. Well, there is a way to get them, although it requires a bit more effort. We can certainly get there. There is a feature called FigSpec. So instead of having Figma, you would have FigSpec that will allow you to get the specs of your design. However, Storybook is going to complain that there's no personal access token. And the reason for that is that this feature requires access to the Figma API. In order to get access to it, we need to define a environment variable. Over here in the documentation, we see Figma FigSpec, which tells you how to use it. And you first of all need to access Figma developers to get a personal token. And then you're going to see an option right here, get personal access token. Well, you do need to create a Figma account, but once you do, you will get this value. And following the, the rest of the instructions, we see that you can essentially set the value in a environment variable. Go into the code base. What we can do is really simple. We essentially create a new file called .env and we set the value we just copied together with this key from the documentation. Once we save it, of course, we need to kill Storybook because otherwise it won't be able to pick that up. And then all we need to do is just run it again. So once this is finished and we go back to Storybook, we see that this pretty much rendered the same thing. However, we are now able to get inspection values on top of it. So we could zoom this and get access to the spacings to the actual content, but we can just copy this and as well as some CSS properties. And basically in combination with this, we could use other add-ons from essentials. For instance, the measure add-on, we could press the M key, or we could just click on this button and then we can check for instance, the spacings. Then over here, I see the paddings of three on the vertical level and eight on the horizontal. And when I check the design, I see that these values are matching. So this is a very interesting way to improve the workflow of your current team and have a better collaboration with your colleague designers. If you want to keep learning about how to build real world apps with the latest technologies and other career related topics, then start right now by subscribing to our channel and liking this video.